The uh, Tlaxcalan sketches are a series of photographs made when I lived in the village of Santa Isabel Xilochoxla, which is in the state of Tlaxcala, and it's on the slopes of the mountain called La Malinche, which is the fourth highest mountain in Mexico. I had been invited to do a summer field training program by the University of Pittsburgh, which provided for some eight students to go to Mexico and learn about doing anthropological field work. We were each assigned to live in a different village on the slopes of the La Malinche and every Saturday we'd meet in the provincial or the capital city of the state of Tlaxcala to talk about Levi Strauss and also the various fieldwork assignments we had been given as a way of carrying out our training. This experience prepared me for many years later when I started to meet Mexican people in Philadelphia who were from the state of Puebla, which is the neighboring state to Tlaxcala, and culturally very similar to Puebla state in that the people are uh, just one generation away from being Nahuatl speaking indigenous people. As a overall summer project, we each had to do a, an ethnography of the village and I chose to use photography as a way of illustrating the ethnography that I wrote about the village. And these photographs that we see in Tlaxcala and sketches, for the most part, have remained unseen for the past 40 years and I thought it interesting to add this on to my current work in Mexico, which shows in many ways a different, but in some ways similar uh, Mexico, in that it's 40 years later, and of course many things have changed. The area of Sierra Norte de Puebla also was somewhat impoverished, but now because of all the remittances sent back by the many sons and daughters working in the United States, the overall economy of the area has really greatly improved. The old ways of constructing houses have been replaced with new ways which have people using cement blocks and pouring cement roofs. <laughs> Actually, it was an interesting summer. It was the summer of the first uh, landing on the moon by the American astronaut uh, Armstrong and others. So here it is, 1969. We're landing on the moon, 
And in this little village, lots of little babies are just dying from natural course causes because they still didn't have the proper treatments, you know, just dying from pneumonia or all sorts of things that people uh, today wouldn't be dying from because of drugs and access to medical facilities. So I made a film about funerals because there were so many of them that summer. I was very interested in the landscape, the way the maguey plants were used to delineate property lines. The small land holdings that people had were called milpas. They were just enough of a piece of land where people could grow some corn, some beans, some squash, maybe some tomatoes, just for basic necessities. In my new work, it's all in color with a medium format camera, and the work that I did back in the early 70s in Tlaxcala was shot with a 35 millimeter camera and in black and white. In re-looking at these pictures, um, curious now, I think I'd like to return to make a visit to this village and take some of the photographs that I made 40 years ago and just see if I could find some of the people that I knew back then when I myself was a, a very young man. Aunque se lo que tu vida lo bonita, mamá, que luego 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 tu vida lo b